Hello and welcome back. I'm Shannon Shepard. I'd like to thank you for watching my art journal. Today, we're going to look at how I go about doing a drawing. We're going to look at what I think are some basic shapes that everyone should use and practice. And then we're going to draw a very simple apple. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So let's start out with let me talking to you and sharing with you. I like to use reference material. I like to use photographs that I've taken. Occasionally I'll use the internet. Occasionally I'll use magazines. The only thing I'd like to caution you about in regards to that is when you're using someone else's work as a reference, you can run into plagiarism and copyright laws. And so be really careful about that. If you ever use that, please change it at least five ways. So you don't want to copy someone else's work. You can use it as an inspiration, as a guide to learn how but not to do your own work. So the other thing that I like to use is actual objects or real things. And this is how I prefer to teach my Art One class. Most of the time I'll have a still life set up. We practice drawing it. It's a really good way for you to see an object, to look at an object, to get good perceptual skills, um, understand objects better. And so then that leaves me with another way that a lot of people like, a lot of people want to go straight out of their head onto a piece of paper and canvas, and that's okay. And there's a time and place for that, in my opinion. I think that after you practice using um, photographs or reference materials, magazines, internet, and still life, real life, uh, setting up outside your house, drawing your house, drawing a landscape, after you use those things, then you can pull it from your head and put it on paper or canvas. And if you look back through art history, you'll see where artists have done this throughout the history of art, from Michelangelo to Leonardo da Vinci, all the way up to Mary Cassatt to Picasso. All these artists at one point in time started out by studying the old art or other people's artworks, and then they would put out their own artwork. And so that's, that's my suggestion too for you and for my students at school. Um, so today, we're going to look at, I'm going to discuss three basic shapes that I feel are super important in you developing a drawing technique or skill. So you need some paper and you need some pencil, a pencil. So that being said, I really kind of prefer to do like rough drawings, scratch art drawings on uh, copying paper or printing paper, computer paper. You can get this almost anywhere. We're also gonna draw this apple in a little bit. Uh, I know you can hear my dog outside. She's kind of wondering why I'm not talking to her, but I'm talking to you. I, I like to carry a drawing pad and I push that you do this. Keep this with you. It's a good drawing journal to keep on hand, to document things in your life as, as the day goes by and wherever you're out and about. I really prefer this paper most of the time to demonstrate on, and it's a good economic uh, paper for you to use. Uh, you can buy this at almost any chain store, um, and it's like $2.50, $3 for 500 sheets. You can't go wrong with that. I do not recommend that you use the line paper that you write on. Uh, I know a lot of times we do, it's what we have, and I myself use it, especially if I'm in a meeting or something and I'm doodling and that's all I have, I'll draw all over that stuff. And that's all right if it's all you have, but try to get you some of this stuff just to practice on. Okay. Most artists believe that uh, to draw anything, you need to start out with basic shapes, and I'm no different than that. I kind of believe that there's only three basic shapes. A lot of times people will say there's four or five, uh, but I kind of believe that there's only three. I think that the circle, something that is round like, uh, it doesn't have to be a geometric circle and perfect in every sense of the way, uh, but something round like and that can be manipulated, maybe changed into an oval or an oblong, more natural shape. That's one of the shapes that we use a lot. I think that the square is one of the shapes that I use a lot. When I'm looking at drawing something, I'll see if I can see a square in it. 
and so now if you put two squares together, what do you get? You get a tri I mean a rectangle. And if you put three together, you get a taller rectangle. And so if you smash this square, you get a rectangle. And the other shape that I believe that we find a lot of is just a triangle. Um, so this technique, this is how I tend to draw things. I kind of start out with a sketchy like motion or sketch, quick gesture -y. Uh And then I capture it, so to speak, and I'll go back in and I'll erase when I need to. Uh, so then a triangle would be my other shape that I think we see a lot of and it's distorted and changed. So uh, these are the three basic shapes that I would suggest that you start out practicing and trying to make objects out of. Like for example, this could be a, a uh, sun. I know that, so as a matter of fact, let's do that. Um, why don't you try to draw all these three shapes and try to turn them into maybe three, use this one three times and this one three times and this one three times and see what happens. Um, automatically, I'm thinking maybe it's food. Uh, this one I can see a slice of pizza. Maybe there's some pepperoni rings, pepperoni that's where the pizza's been cut in half or something like that. Maybe there's a whole piece right there. There's our little pepperoni pizza. Or maybe these are pepper rings, you know. Or maybe that's a piece of pie. We could, a lot of things out of that. And for this one, we said a sun earlier. Maybe the moon, of course. You'd have to draw some little lines on there for the moon. Maybe it could be a smiley face or an eyeball, a giant eyeball. Maybe it could be um, a balloon. A little bit of work to this. Just round the bottom off a little bit. Attach a little triangular shape, so to speak, and a string. There we have us a balloon. Happy birthday, right? Or maybe it's a, hey, I love you occasion. And a square could very easily be turned into maybe like a, uh, like I said earlier, a rectangle. This could be a book. We'll write your favorite book name there. Or, you know, whatever you decide to do with it. When I'm drawing, I like to start out simple, and then I, I kind of go to more detail. And it really depends on what I'm going to be working on. Well, for demonstration purposes, I found an apple here, and this apple is not the perfect apple that you might think of. I purposely have it turned so that you can see what I'm talking about here. This, this side is a lot longer than this side. It seems like it's sloped off there and the bottom's there. So how would I go about doing this? Like I said, I start out simple. Maybe I'll start out with that simple circle shape that we talked about. Because the apple, apples are circular, right? Not, it does not have to be perfect here. You're just doing a rough sketch. So there's my circle. Now my particular apple here looks like it's been chopped off here maybe a little bit. And so I'm purposely putting that slant there, kind of off to the side. I'm not going to worry about the bottom too much. I'll go back in. I'll make my line a little more precise, just taking that sketching um, motion that I'm doing. You can see it getting darker. And for my purposes here in this apple, I can see a little indention in here. Not really going to do too much detail there. Sorry about that. You can hear the traffic outside my house here. And there's a stem. And so we're going to go in here and maybe you see this little, it's oddly shaped right there too. But I'm going to go and make that little bump down there and a little bump right here. Now I'm going to go back in and just erase some of this stuff. Make a little more refined. The interesting thing is that when you're drawing, or for me, it's kind of like a stress reliever. It allows me to kind of escape past time, of course, but focusing on this instead of some of the other things that's going on around about us. And so now this apple, and this is going to work for now. Um, so what I recommend is that you find some fruit around your house, some apples or something. Try drawing it. Maybe get online. Look up an image of an apple or some apples and try drawing it. 
Um, rough sketch. That's so all we're doing, all we're worried about. And you can do this. Give it a try. I would like to thank you for watching today. And if you've liked this video, please like it and share it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm planning on doing more videos and more in-depth drawing. We have to start kind of simple and then we're going to get more elaborate. Thank you for watching and I pray that God bless you. Have a good day.